Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're continuing our series on hotkeys and mechanics. The theme of this video is gonna be camera movement, the mini map, and the tactical map. Now, what most players do, and this is the worst thing that you can possibly do, is take their cursor and go to the edge of a screen to move the camera, right? Look how slow this is. Look how big the map is in the bottom left-hand corner. Look at the mini map. And this, this square is indicating where my camera currently is. If I have to take my cursor all the way to the bottom to move down, look how long that takes to go across the map. It's extremely slow and it's not very intuitive. It also forces all of your actions to be on your right hand. So if you're moving the camera with your right hand, how could you also be microing and controlling your army at the same time? Very inefficient. Now, what other players do is they'll say, okay, I need my right hand for microing. I'm gonna use my left hand on the arrow keys and move around. Now this is better. As you can tell, it's smoother, it's more intuitive. It, you can multitask by moving your camera down, grabbing your units. And this is what I think 90% of players will do is they'll use the arrow keys to move around. It's not terrible. It's a decent system, uh, but it's not ideal. Now, the best thing you can do in my opinion is take your cursor and use the minimap to jump around the screen. Now let's say we want to go from our main base down to the south. All you have to do is take the cursor over the map, left click on any point in the map, and it's going to jump you straight there. Let's say we want to go vehicles available in reserve. all the way to the north of the map. All you have to do is take your cursor, click, left click, and you're there. Jump right away. Once again, middle, left click. Back down south, left click. Back to base, left click. Look how easy and intuitive that is. You could easily jump around to three different points of the map in a split second, and you can jump around and control your army much more efficiently. Now, um, the other thing that you can do is you can use this hotkey. Now we're gonna go to settings, controls, view and remap controls, and you're gonna see a couple different things. Now, you're gonna see toggle tactical map. Now, we're gonna come back to this in a little bit, but keep this in mind, toggle tactical map, that's in the game section. You can also click on camera and you'll see a few different options. Now the first set of options you're gonna have is pan left, pan right, pan up, pan down. Simply move left, move right, move up, move down. Uh, as we stated previously, that's the arrow keys and they're currently set to default on these arrow keys to move the camera. You could set these keys to anything you want. Some people like WASD, it's not my preference because those specific hotkeys are used for other functions in game. I would prefer to use something in the middle of the keyboard. So unlike the arrow keys, which are on the far right hand side of the keyboard, it's very unintuitive and inefficient to take your hand on the arrow keys and then back and forth to the left side of the keyboard and back to the arrow keys. It's very slow and, and it's kind of clumsy for me. So I would prefer to change these to something like uh, YGHJ or let's say TFGH, uh, if you want, it's up to you. It's anything, you, any setup you prefer, any system you like is totally fine. Now, uh, what I really wanna focus on is this pan hotkey. I've set this to caps lock and what this pan hotkey will do is if you hold the button down, for me it's caps lock, it will allow you to move your camera seamlessly. So let's jump in game and I'll show you what that looks like. Now, all I have to do is hold caps lock with my pinky button, it's very easy and then just move my mouse. And I could just move the camera around quickly. I like the caps lock because my pinky's right there anyways. So just holding caps lock, I could move, right? So let's say I use my cursor and I click on the minimap up here, right? But I wanna like move my camera down a little bit. I could just hold caps lock with my pinky and move down just a second. Let's say there's a unit, I can grab the unit and then move back up, grab this unit, right? It's very nice, very intuitive as you can see. Um, now, I'll show you another example. Let's say I click here on the minimap to jump to my middle army. I micro them, let's say I move them. And let's say I wanna go back to base. Base is not too far. I can either left click the base to jump there, or what I can do is hold caps lock and just move down, right? Move back up. I'm holding caps lock. It's very nice, very intuitive. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. All right, guys, the next tip is gonna be the tactical map. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit settings, you're gonna hit controls, view and remap controls. Under the game section, you're gonna see toggle tactical map. 
Now I've set that to mouse button number three. Now that's the third button on my mouse that's right by my thumb. It's like the side button on the mouse. And it's very easy for me to remember it's all in my right hand, you know, the mouse moving uh, the cursor and then also pulling up the tactical map. It's very easy and very intuitive for me to remember. So I've set this to the button next to my thumb. And what this will do is allow you to pull up the tactical map in game. So as you can see here, all I have to do is click this button and the tactical map pops up on screen and it really gives you a great visual of the battlefield at a macro level, at a high level perspective. And uh, it's just in addition to, once again, that habit we talked about, the really important habit of using your mini map. So what I really recommend you guys do is make this setting, pick any button you see fit uh, and start practicing in skirmish all of these different methods. Uh, the tactical map is fantastic for a couple of reasons. Number one, let's say you're in the south, right? And let's say you're setting up this flat gun, the support gun, your MG unit and your engineers. Let's say you're microing all of that. But let's say in the north, you want to make a push at the same time simultaneously. You want to kind of multitask. Uh, all you have to do as you're microing all these units we just talked about is pull up your tactical map with the hotkey you set, grab this army in the We're north and move them. Then you can click that button again, that hockey, and you're right back where you were microing these units. So it allows you to push in two different directions, to multitask in two different places. And it's a really, really great mechanic to sort of implement into your play style. Now, the other thing that it's great for is getting a bird's eye view of the battlefield, and then you can left click anywhere you want to jump. Now, unlike the mini map here, you left click once, just one time. But on the tactical map, if you left click once, it's gonna move your camera, but it's not gonna jump you to that position. So you have to double click, right? Once again, double click up here, right? Now, let's take this same example, but let's spin it a different way. Let's say we're setting up our flat gun, our MG, our support gun. But look at this, we're taking casualties and we're under fire. So all you have to do, instead of dragging your screen to the top very slowly, like we talked about, or using the arrow keys to find your army. All you have to do is left click the mini map or even faster, pull up the tactical map, grab this army and retreat them. See that? And then you can jump right back to your current situation and continue microing and multitasking. So it's great for those large army movements uh, for flanking, for retreating, for soft retreating that is, um, and also um, advancing. Now, another fantastic thing that you can do is you can command your units all at the same time from this map at any point in the game. And not only that, let's let's say you have this assault grenadier here, right? And it's, it's kind of weak. It's a little bit weakened and we want kind of want to get back to base. All you have to do, if you're in the south, is pull up the tactical map, right? Grab this unit, hit R to retreat, and you can retreat the unit immediately. You don't have to go find the unit that's damaged and then retreat it. You can simply pull up the tactical map and do that quick macro action, which is fantastic. It's a great way to multitask and control your army once again. Now, uh, you also have at the bottom left, you have these icons. And as you saw, that unit was damaged and you can, you can see that because the icon is right here. What's great about using the minimap so much to move your camera around is it forces your eyes on the bottom left-hand side of the screen where the icons also are. So it's very intuitive to be looking down on this left side a lot throughout the game. And you can see this unit is damaged. All you have to do is left double click, double left click this unit, and it will jump you straight to it, right? Let's say we wanna to go to our tiger, left click the tiger, double click it. You go right to the tiger, right? And this icon is indicating that it's, it's under fire, right? It's, it's in combat. If you wanna to go to our flat gun, remember it's in the way, way in the south, just double click it and we can jump there. So that's another way to seamlessly move around the screen. Let's say you don't you don't remember where your tiger is, right? You know you're in three different locations, but you don't remember where the tiger is. You can just click find the tiger icon, double click it. And it's right next to the minimap. You can go right back to the minimap and jump back to wherever you were currently uh, engaging in microing. So guys, I hope this guide is helpful for you. Uh, these are the most important mechanics in the game, in my opinion, and implementing these things Going, jumping into a skirmish, practicing them, and slowly integrating them into your gameplay uh, is going to be absolutely huge for improving your 
your playstyle. All right, guys, I hope that video was helpful for you. If you did find it useful, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. It goes a long way in helping to support the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.